Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we have a high-powered headlamp, and uh, I'm going camping in a few days, so I decided it was time to pick one of these up. And I already have a headlamp, but since my dad started coming along with us, I felt it was time to get my own, that way I have... I give this one to him, but it is a rechargeable LED headlamp, single bulb, and you can adjust it just by pulling this little uh, lens here, and uh, push the button and changes intensities and whatnot. This one does practically the same thing, except it has three light bulbs, and you can either have it so that one of them turns on, two on the side, or all three turn on. And then uh, the side here, we do have a picture of the battery case, what it looks like open. It uses two 18650 batteries. They should be the button top cells, and it comes with the charger. And it just says to be careful and Watch out with the polarity of the batteries. Make sure you insert them in the right way and be careful. These are rechargeable batteries and again you want to exercise caution when dealing with that sort of thing. And that's the side there. The top pretty much says the same thing on all sides except the uh, instructions and pictures on, on the box there. So let's go ahead and get this open. There we go. Now when I got my other lamp it didn't come with any boxes or any manuals or anything like that. It just came in a mailing pouch, and that's it. So I had to figure everything out on my own. And I remember I did a video on it on another channel, and someone said, if you press and hold this button here, it goes into SOS mode. And I didn't know that because I didn't have a manual or anything like that. So it's good to know that this one has it. And it has the Ultra Fire, Cree Ultra Fire LED light, which I think this one has it too. And this one's being called the EOTO Light Rechargeable Headlamp. You can see the picture there. And uh, how to adjust it, what everything is, battery holders, the batteries that come with it, introduce for charging, <laughs> basically how to charge it, product features. It features three Cree XM LT6 LEDs one LED, two LED, or three LED light modes and strobe and it does feature supposedly a hundred thousand hours of LED service time I believe it because it's a Cree LED those are pretty good and um, aluminum alloy and plastic is a build construction battery specs right here five to six hours of charge time and uh, 3.7 volts 18650 uh, little safety features for the batteries and how to operate them and whatnot and some tips here if you're interested in reading these you can go ahead and pause. It does have a service email down here. You can email them if you want. If there's any uh, problems you're having or want to get a copy of this manual if you don't have one and whatnot. But that's the manual there. Next up, we do have a USB cable here to what well, looks like a little barrel plug. I don't know the size of this one. Let me check the, the manual here. It might say product features. Uh, there you go, USB cable, but it doesn't say the size. And then next up we have the wall plug, similar to the uh, USB, except this one is a wall plug. And the little light there. I wouldn't really trust this one because I've seen that if you do plug this, this charger up, there's no reverse function, reverse power function. So you're essentially powering this little light there and the power is going from the battery to the plug and from the plug to the battery. So I wouldn't trust it at all. I have my own that I like to use. And then next up, we have the main attraction. We have the LED light. And here's what this looks like. You can see there it's got a nice big light in the middle there. And no, you can't unscrew the... Oh yeah, you can. You can unscrew the cap there so you can get into the lens and nice and clean. If you want to add a filter on there, I think you can. But it's nice to see you can take this off so that you can clean it because I've, I've used these in the past and they get dirty. Especially when we go on dirt trails at night to get to our fishing spot. They do get dirty. There we go. And that's what that looks like. Kind of big, protruding, but that's okay. Everybody has one of these or at least something similar at our campsite. So you look kind of quirky and everybody else does too. And then you can see up here on top you got the power button. The batteries are flat, or either they're not in there. 
and you can see the cable there going through the back to the power pack and the power pack there is batteries in there I can I can feel them this is rubber and it's supposed to be waterproof but I don't trust it they're good enough for what we want them for and they are in there but you can see they're they're in a wrapper so they don't get used so I'm gonna go ahead and open this now I just opened it with my knife don't ever do that I'm crazy I don't really care if anything happens and uh, don't ever open these with a knife I just did it off camera so that you wouldn't see it and think it's cool to do or whatnot but let's go ahead and put these in positives on the bottom negatives on top like so. so we'll see if they have any charge on them if not I have the other ones charged and ready to go so I'll have that like that oh nice they do have a battery and then like I said you push it once you get that center light push it twice you get the two on the side push it again you get all three lights and I'll show you what this looks like when we're at the campsite, so don't worry. You'll be able to see what it looks like in action. And you push it again, and it does flashing. I'm going to stop that just in case there's anybody watching that suffers from epilepsy. And we'll see if you press and hold down, it does the SOS. No, it does not do the SOS. It does not do the SOS if you press and hold down the lights. So, as of right now, this other headlamp that I do have does support that SOS feature, as you can see there, which is fine. And that one's actually a lens. This is just like a little plastic cover, but you can see the LED now. now let me... You can see the LED down there, and I'll show you what the LED looks like on this one for comparison practically almost the same thing this one I, I don't remember what Cree version of LED this one is I think it's the same one but it does look a little different but we're not here to see that one we're here to see this one here and I actually like the build construction of it it's uh, plastic but yeah, as long as you're not fiddling around with it too much you should be okay and it does offer up to like facing all the way down so if this is like your forehead you can make it face all the way down or face it forward and I like the design on the little band here it is adjustable and uh, you could replace the button cell batteries for more reputable ones if you wanted to and I do like that they include the USB cable because I have found that I've lost my charger in the past and uh, it's nice to see that they do include a USB version of it so we're gonna go ahead and uh, show you some footage of what this looks like at night what it looks like at the campsite and then we're going to come back and uh, tell you what I think of it after I've used it. So I just got back from my camping trip, and I'll be honest with you. I didn't uh, take this headlamp with me camping, and I'll get to that in just a second. But before I do, I'd like to uh, let you know that when you do purchase something like this, exercise caution with it, because it may not be always made to the highest standards. It may not include the best possible batteries, or it may not be built to the highest standards. So when you buy something like this, be careful with it. And if possible, try to get some good quality branding batteries for it. That way it doesn't fail on you like this one failed on me. And uh, I'll get, I was charging it the night before going camping. And you can see here how bad the batteries look. And if you look at the top, yeah, you can, you can see the one on the right there is um, a little corroded. It did start leaking, leaking something all over. I tried to figure out what it was. I think they said it was leaking leaking lithium or something like that. I don't remember what it was leaking, but it was leaking something. And I didn't want to take something with me like this that was a potential danger. And uh, considering, considering the campsite we were staying at is extremely hot, the last thing I want is something like this being exposed to high levels of heat and uh, exploding, blowing up, or catching fire while we're down in the river getting wet. Now, because these did leak, or at least one of the batteries leaked, it did corrode the inside of the battery compartment, which I'm gonna show you right now. Taking the little lid off, you can see there what that looks like. It kinda looks like the battery was exhausting some fumes and it got them all over the inside of the uh, battery cover there. And you can see the corrosion there on the inside of the battery compartment. Let me, let me get closer here so we can see. And looking on the inside of the battery compartment, you can see there 
how corroded that is. It wasn't like that when I got it. And you can see some circuitry down there that's also corroded. You can see it's all the plastic is messed up. The contacts are corroded there. So, so you can see why I didn't want to trust something like this during the camping trip because the batteries may have uh, may have blown up on me or caught fire or something like that. For right now, what I'm going to be doing is just returning this and getting my money back and perhaps maybe in the future I'll, I'll pick up another one of the same kind and do a review on that and give it a fair chance. But for now, like I said, I'll be returning this one getting my money back and uh, uploading this video so I can let you know if you're interested in getting something like this to exercise caution especially with the batteries because they're not always the best batteries they are cheap batteries these are known brand uh, rechargeable 18650 batteries usually they'll say like Sony or Samsung and uh, they're high quality batteries but these aren't so uh, if you have any questions comments or concerns regarding this product Please leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to get to them as quickly as possible or answer them as best I can. Uh, with that said, thank you all for watching. See you all in the next video.